What's going on you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to another one take review and this is my oh shit, that's a big ass dog. Uh, but this is my review of uh Black Clover episode twenty one. Episode picks up last well last last episode where Oscar pretty much was defending no well and, and telling her like, yo, you ain't gotta pull up with these bitch ass <laughs> He didn't say that when you heard you pretty much get the gist like hey, you ain't gotta pull up with these bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. You know, just forget them. We ain't got to show none of them. Arthur pretty much states his claim that he going to be the next Wizard King. Immediately, everybody, you know what I'm saying, starts to laugh. And then the guys, some of the some of the more noble start to attack him. One of the guys from the Golden Dawn attack him. It was saying, I sl slice through that shit like it's nothing. Then guys from uh, the Silver Dawn start to, uh, I mean, the Silver, the from, from the, uh, what's it, what's it, Silver Wings, uh, Chicken Wings, I don't know, the Silvers. They attack, slice through their little shit too. So then he ends up getting, you know, they kill, they sting my boy from behind and he gets captured into this, like the sand golem thing. You know what I'm saying? This fake ass motherfucker still trying to be guard and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he, he trying to get my boy. You know what I'm saying? So he holding him. Austin. Austin's using the sword that, you know what I'm saying, takes other people's magic right now at this point. And so, so one of, I can't, I think it was Solid Silver who, uh, Say yo, he he's too disrespectful to nobles. You 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 being too light on him. He sends like this fucking spear at this nigga, a uh, water spear. I don't even know if he's trying to kill him or what. You know what I'm saying? But he sends it while Oscar tied up. Oscar, Oscar, my bad. I don't know why I keep saying Oscar. He pulls out his other big sword, the one that deflects magic. Bings that motherfucker and, and, and dishes it right back to him. Drops the bitch ass nigga right on his fucking knees. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that with so much authority. But probably because I feel good because I, I love them. Cause and then people start knowing like, oh yo, this, this isn't a this isn't an ordinary peasant. Like this guy is this guy seems to be like the real deal and, and I like that, you know what I'm saying? Because Oscar he didn't get his he's not getting Oscar not getting his respect by just people hearing about him. You get he gets his respect by you seeing what he got to offer. Like you, you he's not and, and no no offense to you know, but a lot of people keep hearing like you know the peasant with like the four leaf clover. Nobody even know Austin has a five leaf clover. One thing people know is like Austin's just the, the little brother who 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 doesn't have any magic. You can't sit any mono from. But he always goes out and shows exactly what the fuck he buy and he improves himself. So then oh, and then that's when the fucking happens. The leader of the uh, the, the the older brother, the leader of the uh, the silver. I think it's the silver fangs. I don't know. They're gonna be silver fangs for the sake of this review. I, I it's so many fucking uh, magic knight groups and, and shit, and so many different characters they just they, they introduce them. It's kind of hard to remember all of them. He comes through, and his mana, like the presence of his mana, is strong. Oscar's like this. Oscar can't feel mana, but he can feel like the pressure from him, you know what I'm saying. Like it's just just like a natural pressure, and. He realized, like, yo, this is a leader. This is this is different from when I, I felt Yam is. But this one is this one is cold, you know. And then another mem uh, the member of the Vermilion family. He's like, yo, why, why are you tripping? Like, you let this little peasant work you up this much, and then we have two captains, like, staring down at each other. Which, what's the real deal? If them motherfuckers will start fighting, shit, we're gonna go. Crazy, but then somebody breaks in and says like, "Hey, hold up, you guys! Somebody's attacking the city," which is one of the th one of the funny things we see the guy in the uh, beginning of the episode. We talking about, like, you know, I'm about to go fuck up uh, these people because I have the guy who's doing the attack. It says I have more more magic than a royal. I mean, than a noble. So you kind of wonder like, who exactly is the guy, and did he get kicked out of the uh, Clover Kingdom? So what what exactly is going on now? Either way it go, we get we get on deep into the episode and he's fucking the sit up. He's fucking the tying up. And you kinda I'm wondering to myself, like, there were no just magic knights walking around seeing this shit going on. The only people you have other people who were at like the little ceremony. That was kinda strange to me. And, and I wondered if King Julius I mean, yeah, the, uh, King Julius, where did he go when he left because we found out there was a problem? I wonder did he go see what's going on with this or did he have something even more important than this? So, either way it goes, the guys, they, Oscar leaves out because he don't have time to waste it. And another one of the familiars, one of the, uh, the lower ones, he goes like, yo, Oscar, me and you, you're going to be my rival because I like your style. And Oscar's like, bro, I, I already got a rival. It's my, it's my brother. You know him over there. 
I thought, oh, man, you can never have too many rivals. I, and I knew from last episode, I'm like, this guy not going to be like the uh, the Silvers. He, or the other Golden Dons. I feel like this dude was going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to be somebody that we kind of start, our character, we're going to learn more about. Can't quite remember his name, but, you know, he was the younger guy who went chasing after Austin, after Austin ran out the building because Austin didn't feel like waiting for no damn strategy to go save people. Austin was like, I said, how you going to go save me? You don't know where to go. He's like, I'm going to go where it's the law. That's it. That's a fucking guy who does not wait, who goes down straight into it. And that's what you like about Austin's character because he has no hesitation. He goes straight into the fuck. He's on the front lines, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Beef come down, then they Austin on the front lines, you feel? <laughs> so, and, and that's what we liked. But all the other people, they said, <sighs> kind of in the middle of a review right now, bro. But anyway, he died. Uh, everybody else got together and they went out. I'm kind of wondering as to which, what what powers the guy has. I think he can, like, raise people from the dead. It seems like that's what his power is because... Oh, 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 shit, that's rude. The guy who's who, who's lifting all these people up, he just seems like he's raising up dead bodies. I don't know if the people... He kill them and then raise them back up from the dead. These people just so happen to be buried in the city underground. You know what I'm saying? And plus, they're like zombies. You know what I'm saying? So that's like a zombie episode. Where like we have, we're going trying to take out these people, and, and you, one guy got a hole shot in his chest. And you didn't. He getting right back up. I think I seen one guy get knocked down, didn't get back up. That's the guy who got his head blew off. It's typically how you kill zombies. You put them blow the head off. So. I wonder, is that like his, his magic power and what kind of magic power is that? You know what I'm saying? What what category that, does that even fall on as far as like the, the, the different types of magic? Hopefully we explore that a little bit more. Another thing that I didn't get into last week uh, on my review is that the fact that, do you guys remember when the Magic King held Oster Sword? Oster Sword uh, took some, some of his magic and this week he took some he, when he was slicing through the uh, the different magic that was he was getting attacked with, I'm pretty sure that 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 the, the smaller sword was taking some of that magic in as well, and he hasn't yet to release it. It's gonna be so. It's 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 listen. It's a guy who hasn't had no pussy in about five years. Motherfucker got some pressure build up, and so when he let that motherfucker loose, it's gonna explode on some shit. Damn, it might take down a whole wizard kingdom by his damn self. But as I hope. They just don't forget about that. That's one thing I hope. That they just don't let that because it's happened. It is. It's, it's like the. It's already stored up in the sword. I just ready for Austin to let it go. Hopefully, he let it go next week. Maybe we gotta see how tough this dude really is. He said he has more uh, power than a noble. Um, but Austin don't fall Mars, who was like a fucking crossbreed. So it should be fun. You guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, bro. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more Black Clover reviews. I fuck with Black Clover and I fuck with my nigga Austin, bro.